Welcome to Wines Du Jour. This is High Definition Television you're watching, and we're having a good time here tonight at Dom DeMarco's Pizzeria and Restaurant in Las Vegas, Nevada, where you should be. It's actually on West Charleston and Wallapai. That's the name of the cross street, and it has been here just a few months. It came to us from New York City. Let me tell you, they were number one pizza in New York for several years. They decided to expand, move out west, and here they are in Las Vegas. I have to tell you, the pizza is damn good. Now, if you're a thick pizza, uh, pizza guy, uh, you have to order it, and they can do it for you. But the normal uh, pizza is uh, regular, let's call it thin crust. Crispy, high heat to cook it, done very, very well. Tonight, now, we have three different wines that we're going to pair with. Uh, Dom DeMarco's uh, cuisine, and that would be, number one, a pink Moscato sparkling wine. Now, Moscato is a very, very popular grape in the last three or four years all around the world. People just love it. It's called Muscat in California. In Italy and other parts of, of the country, it's called Muscato. That's cool. It's the same varietal. It doesn't make any difference, but what they've done is they've allowed, it's a dark grape, they've allowed it to macerate in the juices from the skins and the meat and the seeds for just a little bit of time to get kind of a pink color to it instead of a dark color. And that's where the pink Moscato comes in. So the taste is beautiful. Then we're going to move over to wine number two, which comes to us from Argentina. It's a Cabernet Sauvignon from Alamos, and it is really very tasty. What do you see the food the chef put together to pair with that? And then last but not least, uh, Bonterra is the name of the winery. It is known for organic sustainability and just beautiful wines, uh, organically grown in uh, the Mendocino area. So if you are familiar with California, Mendocino sits just above Sonoma. Sonoma sits just above the San Francisco Bay. So it's not too far from San Francisco, but let me tell you, the Cabernet that they grow is really very tasty. And one of the reasons is it's a little warmer up there in that part of the country than it is below in the Sonoma area. And so the Cabernet creates a little more flavor. This is a big, bold Cabernet, and we're going to have some fun with the food for that. So don't go anywhere. We are going to have a good time here, a very good place to, to come to eat. If you have an opportunity to do that, be sure you do. Uh, Don DeMarco Pizza and Restaurant. We'll be back right after these messages. TV today and get a free upgrade to the all-new Genie, our most advanced HD DVR ever. Genie serves your entire home with just one receiver, allows you to record any five shows at once, and gives you up to three times more HD recording capacity than cable. Order now and lock in your savings for two years. Other packages start at just $29.99 a month. So get all your TV wishes granted. Switch to Direct TV and get your free upgrade to Genie today. Welcome back to Wines de Jour. We're here at uh, Dom DeMarco's Pizzeria and Restaurant. This place is very cool. You know, they're known all over America for wonderful pizzas, but they also have a full menu, not to mention a very nice wine list. So if you like beer, you like wine, you like pizza, uh, if you like other types of food, including spaghetti and, and just all kinds of things, well, I'll just tell you one for sure we're going to have here in just a moment with uh, our sparkling wine, and that is chicken parmesan. That's not pizza. Let me tell you, it is killer. Uh, I have to tell you that Chef Raymond, who is uh, the chef here, Ramon, uh, that's the Spanish way of pronouncing it, uh, is, uh, is a very good guy. He knows what he's doing and you're going to see some outstanding food uh, this evening during the show. Uh, I have Al with me, the owner of Dom DeMarco's here in the Las Vegas area. Al, thank you very much for allowing us to come over again and and uh, enjoy your hospitality. You're welcome, Wes. It's our pleasure. It's always our pleasure to have you here at Dom DeMarco's. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Now, our first product tonight is a sparkling wine. Now, that's not to be confused with a champagne. It's strictly semantics. 
Champagne only comes from a region in France, actually 93 miles northeast of Paris, uh, called Champagne. Like here, Las Vegas is in Clark County. Uh, their Champagne is made in Champagne, France. Anywhere else in the world, it's not supposed to be called Champagne, with the exception of the United States. <laughs> I know that's pretty weird. The way back in the late 1800s, uh, they had a meeting of all the people that made wine in different countries around the world, went to France, and they agreed in writing not to use the word champagne on their product because champagne was the first one uh, to make it, and they felt like they would be stealing part of their name by calling it champagne when it wasn't from champagne. Guess who was not invited? You're right, the United States. Back in the 1800s, we weren't making wine. We didn't know much about wine at all. So they didn't invite us, therefore we didn't agree to it. So when it came time for wineries in, uh, in America to actually start making sparkling wine, they wanted to find out what they needed to do if they had to eliminate the word champagne or not because they didn't agree to uh, not having it. And so our government in its infinite wisdom, and we know how smart our government is, they said, look, we're going to allow you we're going to allow you to use the name Champagne on your label if you want to, but you have to preface it by the, the uh, state that you're making the product in. Example, California Champagne, Oregon Champagne, Arizona Champagne. You got the idea. And for many years, the people that were making the sparkling wine used the name Champagne on their label. Well, you know, the product uh, Champagne kind of diminished in a lot of ways. The quality of the champagne here in America grew very, very well, and so the winemakers kind of dropped the word champagne, and they start use, using the word sparkling wine. Well, one company doesn't even use sparkling wine, although that's what it is. They just simply call it bubbly. There's nothing wrong with that. And the bubbly tonight that we're going to have, that's from Barefoot uh, Winery, uh, is, is actually a pink Moscato. Now, Moscato is something that you need to know about. Moscato is the name of a grape, and um, in America now, we call it Muscat. It's just our way of pronouncing it. It's the same exact varietal. So, Barefoot has made a bubbly called Pink Moscato. And if you don't mind, I'll pour a little bit for you. Oh, thank you, sir. You betcha. And I'll pour a little bit for me. And we'll talk a little bit about it, if you don't mind. Now, you notice there's bubbles in it. That just means that uh, they've, they've done it in the, uh, the method champenois. That's the uh, French term for using it. But we call it a traditional method of making sparkling wine or champagne. You see all the bubbles. One thing you need to know about sparkling wine as opposed to champagne, uh, both of them have bubbles. And theoretically, the tinier the bubbles, the better quality of the product. That's just a way to kind of tell. So you'll see some that have <laughs> real inexpensive, one big bubble, and then you'll see others that have tiny bubbles like this. So let's take a taste. Tiny bubbles. Yeah, chin, tiny chin. bubble, exactly. And with that, uh, Chef Ramon has oh, that's pretty good. chicken parmesan. Now we're going to taste this parmesan. We've got to go to a break here in just a moment, so if we happen to miss you, you know we're going to have a taste of it, and I'll tell you about it when we come back. So I'm going to make a little... Uh, taste for you. Thank you. Oops. And a little taste for me. Mmm. Wow. That is really good. So, again, we have to go to a break. Excuse my talking with my mouth full. We'll be back right after these messages. It's delicious. That's delicious. today and get a free upgrade to the all-new Genie, our most advanced HD DVR ever. 
Genie serves your entire home with just one receiver, allows you to record any five shows at once, and gives you up to three times more HD recording capacity than cable. Order now and lock in your savings for two years. Other packages start at just $29.99 a month. So get all your TV wishes granted. Switch to DirecTV and get your free upgrade to Genie today. Welcome back. I want to tell you that chicken parmesan is something you need to really try. If you come over here to Dom DeMarco's in Las Vegas, make sure that you order it. It is killer. Nice and spicy. It's not typical Italian. It's probably uh, an improved Italian taste of a chicken parmesan. Now let's go to wine number two. This wine happens to be a real beauty from not in California, but actually in Argentina. Mendoza, Argentina. That's the area, Mendoza. So if you get a map, take a look at Argentina, you'll see Mendoza and the mountains all around Mendoza are great for growing grapes to make wine. So we'll just have a little taste of this if you don't mind. Thank you, Les. You bet. And I'll have some. Now this is a Cabernet Sauvignon. It's actually a 2009. So it has a little bit of age, but not an awful lot. And I have to tell you, the beautiful color is unbelievable, isn't it? Isn't that got a nice oh, color? It's beautiful. Uh, it's got a nice aroma. Mm. Kind of a dark purple in terms of color. Uh, it's starting to develop a little bit of an orange ring on the outside. And that tells those of us that know a little bit about wine that it has some age on it. So even if nobody told you, they just poured this and sat it in front of you, you could tell this is uh, three or four uh, years old. The more predominant that that orange ring is, the older the wine. Uh, that's kind of the way it goes. Now, what we're gonna do is we always try, the first time we're gonna have a wine, is we try to take a look at it, smell it. I'll tell you what that was, that's pretty nice. And then let's taste it. Very spicy. Has a little bit of tobacco taste to it, which is good. Cassis, it has a little bit of red fruit, that would be red raspberry, uh, could be blackberry, all the typical things that we would expect to have in a Cabernet Sauvignon. It's really good. Now, Chef Ramon has decided to do something a little bit unique. This is an Italian restaurant, so he comes up with this special dish. Now, it doesn't look like a special dish mm -hmm. to the average person that likes pasta, but let me tell you what's here. Dom DeMarco's is known all across the country, especially in New York, and now it's developed into Las Vegas for their meatballs. It's a special recipe. My mother's so, recipe. It's his mother's recipe. And let me tell you, it's not just because it's mom, it's because it's damn good. It's so good. Everybody loves these, and so they're not gonna tell you what's in it, but I can tell you that, I can tell you pretty much what's in it myself, but it's not that easy. On the other hand, what they've done is taken the meatballs after they made them, let them cool down, break them up, and then take that meat of the, the uh, meatball and put it back into the sauce that they make and mixed it all together. Then they cook some pasta and they put this meat sauce on top of the pasta. We've got to taste this. Oh, I, know you're, so I know you love it, but I'm, I'm going to give you some of it here. Yes, please. Thank you. It's like dying and going to heaven. Yeah. There you go. And I'll do the same. Pasta's cooked just perfect. Al dente. Al dente, that's the perfect way, is right. Al dente, incidentally, is uh, Italian, of course. It means firm to the bite or to the tooth, as they like to say in, in Italy. Now, these meatballs with this pasta has got to be really great. Now, let me just explain something to you. And the reason that we went through the trouble to do it the way we did is that if you go to Italy, and I hope you have an opportunity to do that sometime, you do not order spaghetti and meatballs anywhere in Italy. They don't know what you're talking about. Yes, they have great meatballs. Yes, they have spaghetti or any kind of pasta, but they never serve the two together as a dish like we do here in America. It's an American concept. Came back from the Second World War. <laughs> so, let me try this. Mm. Oh, that's good. Oh. Mm. Saluti tutti. Yes, yeah, saluti tutti is right. Mm. Mm. Now we know what pairing is all about.
this, the beautiful taste of the meat and the pasta and the, and the red sauce, uh, along with this nice, smooth, beautiful uh, red wine from uh, Argentina, is really very, very tasty. Now, some of the other things in, in this that I didn't mention, I said tobacco, but this also has some espresso taste, you know, espresso coffee. It's just there. Plus, it has a little bit of vanilla taste to it. And those of you that don't know, vanilla only comes from one thing. It does not come from any grape. All the red wines that are aged in oak end up having a little bit of vanilla flavor to them because the vanilla is actually in the oak wood. And when you allow the, the wine to permeate the wood, it draws some of that vanilla flavor out. Wow, I didn't know that. Yeah. Interesting. So, yeah. And so when you say, oh, it's got vanilla, so what kind of a grape was that? It doesn't make any difference. That vanilla <laughs> comes with the grape itself, no matter what the grape is, especially red. Mm. Soft, sweet. It has what I call a long, lingering finish. When you swallow this wine, you can still taste it for uh, a bit of time after you've swallowed it. And that's what we call a long, lin lingering finish. And that's what's really nice about this particular wine. It's about $16 in the store. Not expensive. It's available all across the country. This happens to be the 2009 Alamos is the name of the winery and Cabernet Sauvignon from Mendoza, Argentina. Beautiful. We've got to go to another break. When we come back, I want to show you something you've never seen before unless you've been to New York. And that's a pizza like nobody's business that is so famous we knew about it before they even got here. So don't go anywhere. We'll be back right after these messages. today and get a free upgrade to the all-new Genie, our most advanced HD DVR ever. Genie serves your entire home with just one receiver, allows you to record any five shows at once, and gives you up to three times more HD recording capacity than cable. Order now and lock in your savings for two years. Other packages start at just $29.99 a month, so get all your TV wishes granted. Switch to DirecTV and get your free upgrade to Genie today. Welcome back to Wines Du Jour. You know, we're having a good time here at uh, Don DeMarco's Pizzeria and Restaurant here in Las Vegas. They come to us uh, just recently, the last couple of months, from New York City. Now, they still have New York City. In fact, they have a couple of them there? No, just one in Brooklyn. One. In Brooklyn. And it's, it's known for its pizza all over New York. Everybody that likes pizza goes there. Now, you know typically pizza in the New York or the East Coast is thin crust pizza. When you go to Chicago, their crust is <laughs> ultra thick, and they think that's the only way pizza is. Well, Dom DeMarco is pretty smart. He, uh, as well as Al, decided that they're going to do something a little different. Not make a really super thick, but just a thick pizza, and then put a special sauce on it. And they did. Tell us a little bit about this special pizza. Yes, uh, in, in Brooklyn, we make a, a round thin crust and a square thick crust. Uh, they have different sauces on. The uh, thin crust the pizza is a cold sauce, and the uh, thick crust pizza is a sauce we cook for five hours with a secret recipe. Really? Yeah, and they're both very delicious. And uh, in the beginning, what happened uh, in, in Brooklyn, as, as right here in Las Vegas, a lot of people didn't want to try the uh, thick crust, too much dough, they didn't like it. But at once they try it, it's almost now 50-50. We sell just as many thin crusts as thick crusts. No kidding. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, it, the reason is, it's, you know, if you're from Chicago and you order one, you're going to say, that's not thick crust. Uh, but I have to tell you, it is thick crust, and the taste is phenomenal. We're about to taste it here, but I want you to see this beautiful wine. This wine now comes to us from Mendocino, Mendocino County, which is just above... Sonoma County. 
Sonoma County is just above the San Francisco Bay Area. So that'll give you an idea of what it's all about. But the reason I'm telling you that is, Sonoma is pretty nice. The weather is excellent and all, all year round. They have a constant five to seven mile an hour wind blowing off the Pacific Ocean, as they do up north in Mendocino. However, up in Mendocino, it's a little drier and therefore it's a little warmer. So the summertime, it gets into the hundreds, 102, 103, and so on. And Cabernet Sauvignon, frankly, loves that kind of temperature. So what they do is they plant some of this Cabernet, and they allow it to take the heat, and they water it the proper way, they do all the uh, canopy management and all that sort of thing. Then they pull the grapes out of the field and take it to the winery and make this beautiful Cabernet Sauvignon. Now, this has uh, a wonderful taste to it. The unique color and again, now this is uh, 2006. So a little while ago I mentioned to you about that orange ring. I see it, yeah. If you look at it here, this orange ring is larger than the orange ring of the, two, the 2009 from Alamos that we just had. So it just shows you what's happening in this wine. The older it gets, the more the, it changes color to a little bit on the orangey side. Now the beautiful thing here is we're going to swirl it like we normally do. Uh, take a look at it, and then take a nice sip. Mm. Cassis, currants, uh, blue, uh, blueberry flavors, um, cherry, all the typical Cabernet flavors, but this also has a little punch to it. It's got a little body, if yep, you will. Yep. So this is what we call a full-bodied uh, Cabernet Sauvignon and that's why the chef said look I've got this pizza with the sauce I can't tell you what's in it it's red but it's delicious and then we put a little bit of, of pepperoni on the top of it that's the only thing other than the sauce that's on here and it's absolutely good let's try it. I know you know what it tastes like but I don't I've never had it I'm gonna try it right now mm. so good. That is delicious. Mm. I've never had that sauce before, mm. and it really tastes good. Now, one of the things we always say here on Wines Azure is that wine is food. So when you have something like this beautiful pizza and a nice glass of big, bold wine from uh, Mendocino County, uh, actually it's from Bonterra is the name of the winery. But let me, t I want to tell you something a little bit about Bonterra before we have to go. Bonterra is probably the original winery in all of America to do what they call sustainability or organic growing. They went out and they quit using fertilizer, they quit using all the things that, chemicals if you will, that was normally used for making wine for hundreds of years, they quit doing that. And they created ways to do it naturally. They've got special birds that they've built nests for around the area, those birds eat the varmints, you know what I'm saying? So it takes care of itself that way, but all natural. So what you end up with is actually healthier wine than you had before. You can't see it, and frankly, you can't taste it. Boy, we know it's there, and yeah. it's really, really oh, it's good. delicious. Yeah. Oh, delicious it's stuff. Perfect with the pizza. Yeah. yeah. And when you put this in your mouth, you know you've got wine in your mouth. It's full of flavor and it also has that lingering finish. So Al, let's have a little toast and thank everybody for watching Wines Du Jour here at Don DeMarco's Pizzeria and Restaurant in Las Vegas. The Asian TV, the community channel for Asian Americans in Las Vegas.